Red Bull team boss Christian Horner says Daniel Ricciardo should target Singapore for his return. With the 34-year-old focused on making a rapid recovery following surgery on his broken hand. Ricardo broke a metacarpal in his left hand during Dutch practice via a light crash at Turn 3, in which he avoided the stricken McLaren of his countryman Oscar Piastri, but didn't let go of the steering wheel. Ricardo flew to Barcelona and was operated on by esteemed MotoGP surgeon Dr. Xavier Mir, who helped Lance Stroll return to race this year in just 12 days after he broke both wrists in a cycling crash. Liam Lawson, who replaced him at Zandvoort, finished 13th, two spots up on his AlphaTauri teammate Yuki Tsunoda, and will race again at Monza. Red Bull has shut down speculation on Sergio Perez's future, with team boss Christian Horner stating in Zandvoort that his situation next year is clear and that he's a Red Bull racing driver, closing out questions on whether he'll be dropped for 2024. Checo's chances of staying with Red Bull looked uncertain after six straight fight-back drives from Monaco to Hungary. But Horner's latest clarification follows the words of Red Bull's motorsport consultant Dr. Helmut Marko to the sport's official podcast F1 Nation in Belgium. Being second behind uh, Max is like a win. Do you know, there won't be any other driver who could stay with him on one level. Maybe Alonso and Hamilton would be nearer, but nobody could beat him at the moment. Perez lost out on a podium in Zandvoort last weekend due to a five-second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane that dropped him from third to fourth. The Mexican was just 0.8 over the 60 km per hour limit. Haas has opted for stability over risk by confirming its current driver lineup of Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hülkenberg for 2024. The American team went for an all-experienced lineup this year, a move that has paid off so far, with no expensive crashes and a haul of 11 points from its uncompetitive car, the VF23. And Haas boss Gunter Steiner says there's no reason to change, with his extremely solid driver pairing delivering on track. I don't want to take a risk at the moment, because I don't think that's appropriate. You can take a risk if the risk is worthwhile to take, he said in Zandvoort. The Haas move takes the sport a step closer to a full 2024 grid. Mercedes is expected to retain Sir Lewis Hamilton, while Lance Stroll is on a rolling contract at Aston Martin. Second drives at Williams and Sauber are open, along with the soon-to-be rebranded Alpha Tauri. Sir Lewis Hamilton says that he's just biding his time until he again has a competitive Mercedes to race at the front with. Hamilton hasn't won a race since the 2021 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, but says that the squad is making constant improvements and that he's been more hands-on in terms of the 2024 car's direction. The seven-time F1 world champion also says he's keeping himself sharp mentally in readiness for his next Red Bull stoush. Fortunately, I've got these other things that keep me motivated as well, which tap into the whole ecosystem, like the movie, for example. So yeah, I'm just biding my time, he said. Lance Stroll was the victim of a strange rumor in Zandvoort, with the Aston Martin driver said to be preparing to switch from F1 to pro tennis. Stroll is currently on a rolling contract with Aston Martin, with his father, billionaire Lawrence Stroll, the Green Mark's executive chairman, who bankrolled his career from the outset. But while Stroll has three podiums and a pole to his name, the deficit to teammate Fernando Alonso has allegedly left the Canuck rankled. The stats make for grim reading, with the Spaniard leagues ahead, 11-2 in qualifying, and 10-1 in races that they both finished. Alonso also has 121 more points than Stroll after 13 races. But the switch rumor was just that, 
despite Stroll being a huge lover of tennis, so much so that he even requested the Australian Grand Prix promoters arrange a game with his hero, former world number one Leighton Hewitt, ahead of the cancelled 2020 race. I'd better work on my backhand a little bit, because I don't think I'm quite at that level yet, Stroll said. I mean, I like to think I'm pretty good, but I don't know if I'm ready to go up against Djokovic and Alcaraz just yet. McLaren is confident it can keep Lando Norris beyond his current contract that ends in 2025, if it can give him a car capable of fighting for the crown. Norris signed a three-year extension with the Woking squad last year, one believed to pay him 20 million US dollars annually, and the intentions at the time were clear. I think uh, McLaren is where I want to win races as a, as a driver, and um, uh, I think I'm the driver, obviously McLaren want to be able to win races with, so within uh, each other, um, we want to achieve the same goals, and that is to win races, and I believe that we can, we can do that as a team. Uh, I believe McLaren can win races and win championships um, as long as I'm with them for the next few years. But while the Brit needed faith earlier in the year, with two 17th places at the season openers in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, significant upgrades in Austria have turned the team around, with Norris scoring podiums at the British and Hungarian races. And the squad knows it has to build on that pace to retain him long term. It's not a case of wooing him or not wooing him. It's about giving him a car where he can look himself in the mirror and say, I think I can win a world championship with this team, Brown said. Ferrari wants to agree with Carlos Sainz on his future by the end of the season so that both parties can go into 2024, the final year of his current contract, on the same page. Sainz joined Ferrari in 2021, but hasn't been a consistent thorn in the side to teammate Charles Leclerc, despite taking his maiden win at last year's British Grand Prix at Silverstone. But rather than just lock in a new deal and move on, team boss Frederic Vasseur is keen to first determine whether Sainz will stay or go and plan and negotiate from there. We still have four or five months in front of us to decide, but we are fully, fully aligned on this point with Carlos and his management, and we will have the discussion soon, he said. Valtteri Bottas expects Sauber to become more corporate under Audi's ownership, but says he doesn't mind having to have second thoughts on what he posts on social media. The Finn is locked in with Sauber until the end of 2025, but wants to kick on into its 2026 transition to Audi, which he considers an interesting era and makes sense given its long-term plans. But Bottas says he's happy for the team's current relaxed atmosphere to be compromised by Audi's competitive spirit. As long as I can still have my fun, which I believe is good for me, that's the main thing, he said. Austin's Circuit of the Americas says that it could potentially host 500,000 people at next year's United States Grand Prix, setting it up to smash last year's record crowd benchmark by 60,000. F1 is enjoying explosive growth stateside, with three races there this year in Miami, Austin and Las Vegas, each of which is positioned differently to complement the sport's offering. But Cota boss Bobby Epstein says that improvements to transportation, food service and bathrooms, which will be assessed at this year's event, should boost capacity for 2024 at the Texan track. We'll have to see if the demand is there, but we'll have the capacity certainly next year, assuming the things that we are trying this year go as well as we hope they will, he said. The eyes of the world were back on the UK last weekend with the annual Silverstone Festival, which this year celebrated the iconic British circuit's 75th birthday, and there was no shortage of F1 action. Mercedes brought six of its former Grand Prix challenges, while Williams was represented by a number of its former cars, each with glittering histories, including the ex-Jacques Villeneuve 1997 World Championship winning V10-powered FW19. 
Heritage Collection for bringing... Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.